Hi guys and welcome to my review of the Penon Globe. This is a OnePlus 2 uh, IEM from Penon. It's been out now for a while, uh, maybe over just a year and a half roughly. Um, but I only, uh, well, um, only a couple of months ago that I get uh, caught in the rabbit hole that is uh, Penon. And by rabbit hole, I don't mean this in a bad way, I mean this in a good way. Because it's been uh, a, a very enjoyable experience so far. <clears throat> and uh, the truth is that both Penon and ISM Audio uh, IEMs have um, not only uh, satisfied me fully, uh, but uh, taught me something which I already knew, but uh, you know, uh, brought that 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 notion that um, uh, you know, as long as something is well done, it can be different, um, and that's that's basically what the, 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 the Penon is. You know, it's 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 a uh, uh, well. Before before I get more into the details, let me just well. We all know more or less how the Penon packaging is. It's that yellow box inside. Basically, came this case. This case brings these tips and brings the the, the green ones, which you guys can see just over there. Okay, uh, and it brings also uh, some EPRO horn shaped tips, as you can see here. Okay, it brings um, the Ace S8 version of this cable. This is the S16. I just absolutely love the look of this cable, and that's why I swapped it over. Um, sonically, mm, honestly, I can't see any difference or well, hear any difference. As for the the IEMs themselves, the Globe are uh, very much similar to uh, a lot of the other ISN offerings, and sorry, a lot a lot of the other Penon offerings, and well, funny enough, the, the ISN offerings as well. Beautiful resin shell uh, with um, a similar but not similar kind of um, faceplate. They have uh, an unusual uh, thickness uh, and and the length of nozzle, which again is something which is common with uh, the non stuff. And and basically this allows uh, for a deep fit, and with that deep fit you get the benefits that come along, uh, which is a pushing up of uh, resonances that can maybe cause issues with um, the way that music is played back into the higher frequencies. Uh, and uh, it, it just makes for an overall more enjoyable, more immersive kind of sound. Anyway, back to uh, what I was saying just a second ago. Um, you know, and and well, I've got a couple of IEMs here in front of me. I've got the Canera Idun Golden, the, the 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 second version of the Idun. I've got the Venerable Blessing Two. I've got C Audio Yume Two. I've got the uh, seventh acoustics stargazer, and I've got the uh, um, soft tears volume. Um, most of them are one plus twos, one plus two, one plus four, one plus two, one plus two, one plus two, one plus two. One plus two. There are a few others that I could have included here, uh, but I think these are enough to try and explain and try and show what it is that. Uh, uh, I, I want to convey about the globe. Um, all of them have different types of tuning. This is a neutral bright. This is basically a neutral warmish. This is kind of a a neutral, more warmish. Okay, let's put it that way. This follows more or less the same philosophy. This is. Um, a neutralish, uh, warm base, warm bright. It's difficult to really explain because there's a good amount of energy in the highs. There's a nice base, not as prominent as on the Stargaze or on the on the Yume, but more than obviously these two. And the Penon has uh, this um, this kind of I guess you could call it a W signature. Uh, and if I go in along those lines of the W signature. I could also call these two W signatures of different levels. Uh, and this has got a W signature, and when I show you the graphs later on, you'll understand, which kind of everything falls within this kind of um, six and a half, seven dB window. Um, the mids are the typical Pendant mids, you know, uh, 
and and if if no and if somebody that's listening to me now doesn't know what the Penon mids are about, the Penon mids are about everything being in the right amount, nothing added, nothing missed. That's what it is. Everything is in the right amount. Tonally very correct. Uh, you know, instruments uh, sound perfect. Uh, they are both correct in tonality, in timbre, in, they are correct in speed. Um, you know, that's in a kind of a nutshell that Penon meets. And then uh, the Penon kind of sound um, you know, is, a, is a kind of sound where they've tried to uh, emulate what room acoustics and uh, uh, do to to a speaker. So they've taken that um, that um, that uh, sonic uh, happening, which or, or, or which is basically when you have a, a speaker in a room, depending on where you position it. Um, not only will you get the, the 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 sound which comes directly at you, that which is direct, but you will also get the sound that is. Uh, reflected from the walls around you uh, and especially then the bass gets this boost which is very much dependent on the distance that that speaker has from the rear wall um, this in a nutshell is basically kind of the room speak it has a, a uh, the room sound it's it's got this oh this very particular coloration and that's why uh, the same set of speakers in different rooms will sound differently and what Penon has tried to do, uh, and, and it's something which is very common across the board, and I mean, I've tested the fan, I've tested the fan too, I've tested the Vortex. Perhaps the Vortex is the one that is a little bit more different, okay? Um, tested the serial, absolute beast of an IM. Okay, and now the Globe too. I'm hoping that I will test next Vortex. Um, and... It, 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 what this basically means is that you get this very, um, how can I find now the right word? Um, the, the room sound has, as I just mentioned, has uh, this characteristic to uh, take a speak and captivate you or then not captivate you. I'm talking with the with the same speaker, obviously, and somehow what they've done on the on the on the globe, like they do across the board, is they are able to put this characteristic into the IEM somehow. And the truth is, you know, you 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 don't understand why, but everything and in the in the in the in the globe, especially everything is very competent. It's a big sound. It's it's a sound which seduces you. It's it's uh, it showcases that it's got a competent tuning. So the tuning has been well done. It showcases that um, the, the 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 way that the parts have put together have been done in a competent manner. Um, you know, so you basically have a a, a competent build, a, a competent tuning, a competent um, uh, shape of an IM. Everything giving you this this very competent sound. I know I kind of repeated the word a lot of times, but what I'm trying to basically say is many times, and, and, and this has been a topic that's <coughs> been discussed very, very, very often lately. Oh, diffuse field is the way to go. Oh, Harmon is the way to go. Um, no, in my opinion, no. The way to go is what sounds right to you. And audio files are, oh my god, no, it has to sound true to the source. And if it doesn't sound true to the source, then, and then they will refuse to listen to other things because, no, this IM or that speaker are the one that is competent and capable of making everything sound as it was recorded. You know what, people? That is all very nice and true and very nice and dandy and so on and so forth. But the reality is we all have different ears. And I can put in an Oli VX in my ears and it sounds absolutely fantastic. And I give it to George or to Paul or to whoever, and he puts it into his ears and he says, I don't understand what uh, what Tony just saw so amazing on this IM because it sounds like absolute garbage. So this whole thing of um, audiophile and, and audiophiles wanting to be above the rest of us, 
you know, I mean, I don't consider my audiophile. I consider myself to be a person that perhaps has a better listening ability than than the majority of people. But then again, is is not because I've been blessed or anything. No, it's because I have enjoyed uh, music since I was since since I can remember, basically. You know, I mean. And and I've I've learned I've 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 and that's why I think the main thing and the problem with sometimes the many reviewers is they have this inability to actually be more broad minded. Yes, you can have your preferences, but if you want to be a person which uh, is somewhat capable of 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 you know giving an opinion on something, you have to be broad minded. You can't just listen to rock all the time, and then. Uh, Say that uh, you know, uh, no uh, EDM uh, it doesn't is not played well on this IEM, but you don't really listen to to EDM. So how can you say that? You know, you 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 can't you can't be narrow minded. You have to be broad minded. You have to be able to put yourself outside the box and say to yourself, no, I'm listening to the Idun, and I can understand what the Idun was done. And for me, in my opinion, what was tried to be. A, conceived or attempted to be done here has been well done obviously this doesn't mean that every IEM is perfect no of course not that's not what I'm saying but we need this ability and you know getting back now here to the to the Penon because I was uh, to the Penon to the globe because I was kind of <coughs> going off let me just break down things quickly so that uh, we, we 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 get to to what really matters and I don't take up too much of your time this is an IM which will definitely be very capable in terms of its versati versatility of, of genres. Um, the way that the three um, uh, units, the, the Knowles BA, the Sonian BA, and the 10 millimeter driver have been integrated, uh, give you this smooth, very complete, very full bodied, very rich sound. Um, like I said, it, it's, it's, you, you could call it a, a W signature. A neutral W W signature, if you want, um, and and the th the thing is, you know, you are uh, um, um, you are seduced by how everything is being so well executed in the globe to the point that you end up um, maybe even listening to things that you don't usually listen to often, and in this particular case, I was finding myself listening to a lot of. Uh, soundtracks from, from movies and so on which is not something I usually listen to I, I occasionally listen to one or two and I was just absolutely blown away by how well and how competently the, the here I go again with the word competent uh, how competently the, 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 the globe was doing it you know it, it's, it, it, it was truly showing how uh, it is versatile in terms of, of breaking it more down into details the bass um, it's um, it, it's not a heavy bass. It's not sloppy. It's not a you know be a quick bass. No, it's not that. But it's got just the right amount of uh, thickness of weight with the right amount of speed. So um, you you don't ever th notice that it just lags or just no no. It's it's very. Uh, it, very efficient in that manner and for example you listen to a song like uh, House of Groove and it's done perfectly House of Groove by Eugene Groove done perfectly you hear Grace from Real People uh, again perfectly done there's, there's enough mid bass slam to get you going um, and enough uh, you know uh, fullness to, to those to those to that slam it's not a cold slam no it's it's got guts it's got balls let's put it that way it's capable, but at the same time, it's also capable of, of rumbling, of, of really going deep if, it, if it's needed, okay? I'm not, of course, saying this is a base head IM. No, it's not a base head IM. It's an IM which has a very high quality base, in my opinion. Uh, out of the, I would say, hundreds of IMs I've heard up to now, this is definitely up there in the, in the best ones. Um, it's got a very, very well executed bass, period. This bass then is uh, done so well that it integrates into the mids perfectly. And the mids, again, um, you know, they, they, they natural, they, they, um, they 
complement the character of the bass in a perfect manner and you, you don't ever uh, um, uh, see anything lacking like I said earlier uh, there's nothing added nothing missed everything just comes across perfectly um, I honestly out of everything that I l heard there was maybe maybe one or two songs that I found that mm, okay maybe I've heard this done in a manner which I, I was more pleased with understand um, treble uh, this is the area where maybe those of you that are more um, inclined to, for the technicalities and for details uh, might find it a little bit lacking personally personally I didn't I personally found the treble to be what well, I like it to be smooth non sibilant non fatiguing and present okay even if a treble is bright I don't mind it as long as it's not sibilant as long as it's non fatiguing in its brightness if I can kind of more or less uh, explain what or, or give an idea of what that maybe could be so it doesn't really matter but in this case it's a, it's a smooth treble which again is very much the typical Penon kind of thing they usually have the mids as being the main attraction complemented by this tremendously well done bass and then this more uh, relaxed but adequate treble okay star this complements that to make it really shine and this just gives the right amount of sparkle at the end kind of you know that that's that i think that's that's the, the best way to put it in terms of its technicalities the sound stage it's got very good width in my opinion good height decent depth but it uh, is all within a closed space so it's not a huge sound stage it's, it's not an im that will give you this crazy 3d-ness that maybe some of us like no it's not that it's a cozy im it's an im that you know you it, it's nice and cozy okay again another very typical characteristic of um of penon stuff imaging perfectly clear positioning no issues there really well done um the micro details and the macro the micro details you know the the little those are the only things that perhaps uh, again those the, those of us that are looking for that in an IM might find it slightly lacking I'm, I'm I am going to say that yes in one or two songs I would have liked a little bit more but overall the fact that this is such an engaging IM that it's so capable and so uh, proficient in in that that which is my main characteristic that I look for which is the tonality and the timbre be done well it just has to sound right I don't care if it's bright and neutral whatever but it has to sound right you know um, even if it's slightly colored for me I don't I don't I don't mind it just has to sound right you know there is, is to, it has to give me either that old school kind of like I've said many times before that kind of old school vibe that you listen to these big floor standing speakers um, or it can have the 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 the, 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 the characteristics of a of a of a bookshelf speaker I, it just has to sound right you know for you to wow okay that sounds good that's the kind of thing I want to be impressed with so yeah that basically I think covers the globe in terms of uh, what is the sound is you know in terms of like I, I was saying earlier that the shell fits perfectly it isolates perfectly I'm using the green uh, the green um, the green tips the, the ones that have the green uh, stem as you can see there okay um, and yeah there isn't really anything you know there's nothing wrong with it nothing okay it costs three hundred and thirty nine dollars and three hundred and thirty nine dollars you know you you have a variety of, of other options um, that, that you can choose from um, so it's 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 hard for me now to say after all of what I just said oh no this is the one for you to go and buy and no no um, like I always say have a listen see if you like it if you like my playlist and I'll put my playlist like I always do if you like my playlist uh, then probably you will very much like the way that the globe does the playback of that list 
as compared the globe compared to these and again please keep in mind that they all have different signatures all different styles of doing things so it might not be the best comparison the idun golden um for for what it is in terms of a bright im with a, a very neutral base it's it's great it's fantastic uh but very niche so it won't be as uh, satisfying in terms of its versatility as the as is the globe the blessing two is a little bit the same kind of line as the idun golden but with uh, more base uh, you know more base presence more base warmth but it's 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 got <coughs> it's got this coldness to the sound um that it's not that it's um, not nice or not good. It, there are people that obviously like it. Otherwise, the Blessing 2 wouldn't have the, 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 the success that it's had. But again, compared to the Globe, I personally would, you know, this is the one I would go for more often. Um, compared to the volume, and the volume, I was a big fan of the volume. I mean, at, at one point, I was one of the, 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 the... I was brave enough to even say that the volume could perhaps even... Uh, be considering price and everything a, a better option than the variations no uh, I, I go back on that statement um, and and that's normal you know when you listen to something and with time you go back to what you listen to the game you change your your opinion your perception no the, the volume is a very well executed IEM undoubtedly um, but when you when I listen to it now, after obviously having acquired more experience over the last year and a half or so, uh, very competent, very nice sounding, but it gives me vibes of a more energetic blessing. So it gives me vibes of a dusk with a little bit more energy. Nice, engaging, correct, but mm, uh, which leaves us with the Yume 2 and with the... With the Stargazer. Oh, worth mentioning, this is about $170, so significantly cheaper. This is about $290, so more or less the same price range. This is about $290, again, more or less the price, the same price range. Stargazer is about $170, so much cheaper. And the, and the Yumi about the same thing, so much cheaper again. These two are uh, two of the one plus two hybrids that I usually go to. Why? Because they just play very well. And, you know, the Yume 2, I think, I think, no, I know that the Yume 2 problem was the, its delay in being launched. But otherwise, what I can say is that the Yume 2 is an absolutely fantastic IM. I mean, really, really, really good. Bass, mids, trebles, technicalities, the engagement that you get from it, fantastic. As compared to the, with the globe there are characteristics i like more here than i do here there's more detail there's more uh, twinkles and and, and 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 sparklies and so on and so forth but then there are times where i will say okay the mids here are, are better than here but there are more times that i actually like more than mids here on the globe as i do compared to there in the base it's it's uh it's they they trade glow they trade blows you know they do base in a different manner but they trade blows so uh the the biggest um, winning card for the yume obviously is its price i mean 170 dollars and i've seen it as low as 149 honestly if, if you ask me it's a no-brainer it's one of those iams that honestly is a no-brainer it is unquestionably the best im of the yume series unquestionably um, and one of the best one plus two hybrids available. Again, period, but irrespective of price. The Stargazer, I repeat basically what I said for the Yume. Um, a slightly more competent in the base in terms of its authority. Um, it kind of has the authority of the globe. Um, and the, but then the, the mids and the highs are very similar. Uh, they, they all, they've got a very, very similar tune. Uh, again, what it has going for it, it's its price. The only problem is availability, which is not easy. So overall, if uh, you were to ask me, so Acros, Tony, which which IM would you choose the most often to, to listen to? Well, funny enough, the one that I would listen the least to is The Blessing. Okay? Uh, followed by The Volume. Followed then by The Idun. And of these three... Honestly, it would depend on 
what my mood was because if any one of these three is highly capable highly versatile and they satisfy me and my music you know perfectly i, I mean th there is honestly really nothing that none of these three cannot give me i mean songs like for example elephant from from carol de Bock, which is one of my favorite songs um you may stargazer globe they do it there's there's well similarities there but there's a difference to the globe in which you know the way which which is which it is played back but it's so engaging it's the you know the authority of the thumps of the bass her voice everything comes across flawlessly um if i listen to for example hello again from paul brown again you know it's one of those songs that um you just every any one of these three just seduces you honestly they really do it, it they they it, they they you can't really um swept away perhaps from again from carol de Bock, swept away is perhaps one of the very few songs where i would say i think the stargazer just slightly edges out the other two but look we are talking such minor differences that i would even go as far as saying Maybe I just didn't have my ears properly cleaned that day and that's why I thought that was better, you know. So, anyway guys, look. To, to wrap this up and just quickly show you the graphs, this is very simple. Penon Globe does justice to the Penon House sound and the story. It's a, how, it's a type of sound that you like or you don't like, obviously. But if you consider yourself like I do as a true lover of music, a true lover of well reproduced music irrespective of what it is you know give this a try it, look it's a little bit like cars it's a little bit like me saying that um uh, mercedes is the only car that exists and every other car every, does it's garbage no uh, mercedes makes amazing cars as does bmw as does audi as does uh, maserati you know uh, you can't you can't say that uh, a mercedes uh, you know a mercedes and I'm saying Mercedes is like I BMW. Mercedes Saloon uh, is versatile. It will do a lot of things right. But are you going to take Mercedes Saloon off-roading? No, you, you're not. You're probably going to get yourself something which is more tailored for off-roading. So you probably get yourself a Toyota Land Cruiser. We know that it does that amazingly well, you know. Uh, no, but now I feel like going uh, high high speed and, uh, well, you, you go buy yourself a Koenigsegg or you go buy yourself a McLaren, you know. And, and that's where... That analogy is to say what? That analogy is to say that, you know, a lot of people get stuck in, oh no, the sports cars and McLaren and Lamborghini, that's the thing, the race is all garbage. Other people get stuck in the idea that, oh no, you know, Land Cruisers and, and Toyota, uh, whatever, and Nissan Patrols, those are the ones and the rest is all garbage. No, no, no. You have to be, if you are a true lover of music and appreciator of of, of well-executed things, and in this case we're talking about IMs, you have to be, in my opinion, versatile. You have to be open to new experiences. And I actually admire the way that uh, HBB recently in a review that he did was saying that we kind of got stuck a little bit lately uh, on the on the notion that only harmony is, is correct. And, and to a certain extent, it is true, and to a certain extent... Um, you know, manufacturers went down that road because they know it's a safe thing to, to, to that it will sell. And I admire the non in that aspect for being brave enough to having created their own particular sound. And it doesn't matter which IM it is. Is it the fan, which is a single DD, or is it the, the, the globe in this case? I'm not, I can't talk about the, the other models, which is the one plus two or the, the, the serial, the, the, you know, three DDs, you always will find commonality in the sound. It's not like they've tuned one IEM, you know, in one particular way and they've tuned another one in a totally different way. No, you know, it, it, that has to be uh, admired and, and given credit to. Anyway, guys, I'll show you now the graphs and as always, you know, like and subscribe and you pick any questions or whatever you want me to answer, please let me know. Okay, you take care. Okay guys, so uh, graph section now and uh, well, straight away the graph of the, of the, of the globe and as you can see, uh, looking at the graph you don't really get a, a, a notion of, of what the, the, the globe is capable of doing. Uh, you look at it and you think, oh it's got this 
mid bass bump here and it kind of bleeds into the mids and it's, it's gonna sound wrong and off and this and the pin again is very low and you know what's the deal and this and that and, I, and when you listen to it you say to yourself oh my god this thing actually can play music and this is again another characteristic of both Pinon and ISN is everything is always done in a manner which you look at it graphically and, and if you're a graph a person uh, and, and there's loads of them out there um, oh no this is no I'm not going to even look. and you know you know what <sighs> just because it, it has a perfect graph and, and there's no uh, no ridges and there's no peaks and that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to sound bad or not going to sound correct yes there will be flaws I'm not, I'm not you know putting that in but it doesn't mean it's going to have to be sounding bad necessarily anyway just carrying on now so I don't rant um, this is now the graph of uh, the seventh acoustic stargazer um, I normalized it at 1k, however, if I normalize it at, at uh, 500, this kind of is more um, a, a the, the, the true sound that you actually do notice. Yes, uh, uh, significantly more energetic um, uh, mids and, and, and uh, upper mids and, and presence area unquestionably more detail up top and more 3dness unquestionably but then the rest of the signature overall it's very very similar very similar um really you know you don't really notice this supposedly sub bass um, uh, um, extension that you get here on, on on the stargazer you don't notice it as much as you would think by seeing the graph okay next one uh, next one, next one, next one, next one, next one. The, 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 the C audio Yume. Okay, and again, let me just normalize it at 500 hertz so that we get a, a more true notion. And as you can see, well, let me just take away briefly the, the globe. As you can see, the the Yume 2 and, and the, the Stargazer, they graph very, very similar and they sound very, very equal. It's, it's really, um, just in the bass is I think where you can occasionally pick a difference. But anyway, comparing here to um, the, um, this, the um, globe, sorry. Had a blank there. Uh, basically, the same situation as the Stargazer repeats. You notice there's more energy in the mids, definitely more upper treble and and and, uh, and you know presence, brilliance, definitely more. Uh, but overall, kind of both of them do what they were designed to do very well. So you, it's it's really hard to pick, really hard to pick. Um, next one, the Kinero Idun. Uh, and and this one is just here basically to to show what I was saying about how a something which is tuned in such a different manner to the usual uh, and again Chimera is is known for that can sound good and and yes the bass is very neutral it's it's no way uh, you would think that there would be certain no way forget it not not, not only because of the fact it's only a seven millimeter driver but it's not even closely remotely close. Uh, it doesn't rumble, you know, or anything of the sort. Now, there, there might be a reminiscence of that, but nothing. But yes, uh, up top, definitely way more energetic, and it's very much uh, felt. Um, and finally, uh, sorry, Moondrop. Blessing, Moondrop, Blessing, where are you? Moondrop, Blessing, there we go. Um, yeah, there we go. That's my Moondrop, Blessing. Let me just again just correct it there okay that's my moon drop blessing again very on the neutralish side uh, compared to the to the um, I do which I, I just had up a second ago so there we go um, they have a lot of similarities up top yeah although the the, the blessing is more tame in that in the energy that's up top uh, and but definitely the basis is, is the is the biggest difference the most noticeable difference straight away uh, again, compared to the um, 
to the um, globe, you don't the the base or you would think would be similar, but not not even close, not even close. Uh, and the mids, you know, the, the mids, upper mids, and and treble area. Funny enough, they are done in a very similar manner, just different energy levels. And I think that is again uh, a testament to well done mids uh, on both sides. Uh, you know, both of them do uh, well well you know well executed mids one with um, with an overall more energetic signature especially because it doesn't have the base which gives it that um, maybe necessary uh, completion and and and, and kind of that 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 tonality and, and gives you a more clinical cold sound like i mentioned the other one has got the base so it just makes everything sounds more grand more more you know it, it you you um not one thing again to sound, um, but uh, I, I just received uh, some Roma Audio IEMs which I'll be reviewing. Um, and you know, those are IEMs of $400, $700. And I'll be very honest with you, um, I would choose the Globe over them. I really would. Because although they are very good and very well, uh, uh, very well um, tuned, they just lack a. They just lack something, uh, you know, uh, which uh, is to say what that um, if if the globe was more expensive, um, it it wouldn't. Um, I don't want it to be more expensive. I want it to be cheaper. But if it was more expensive, I, I wouldn't say that in terms of its sound, it wouldn't justify it because it 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 does play genuinely like a much more expensive IEM does, or usually do. Anyway, guys, that's enough. This is a long review. Um, but you know me, I get carried away and I start talking about other stuff and so on. Any questions, please ask. Uh, you know, like and subscribe. It helps me get my channel growing, um, you know, so that I can carry on doing this. Um, because first of all, yes, I enjoy it. But, you know, if I have your help and, and your engagement, it obviously also helps and, and keeps me motivated. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.